It's LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi with today's Data Science Makeover. Watch while Monica Wahi demonstrates how to view one column in a data frame in R. Hi, it's me again, and we are using the line items dataset again. I already read it in as an RDS. You can see the evidence of that in the console. If you want to know how to do that, I mean, read in an RDS, I'm sorry, I can't explain it now, but I'll link to my other video about doing that. All right, so what this video is about is looking at one column in a data frame. So we have the line items data frame in R. Actually, let's look at all the columns. We can do that with the call names command. If you want to know more about that command, you can watch my other video where I scrape the headers out of a data frame using the call names command. I'll link to it in the description. Okay, we are just going to run this to see what our column names are. Let's do that. Let me do that. See those column names? Line item ID, report ID, report order. Hey, let's pick on report ID. Okay, so let's say we wanted to look at just the values in the column report ID. See here, it says line items. That's the data frame name and then a dollar sign. That tells R I'm going to refer to a column in the data frame line items, and I'm going to refer to the column using the column name that we saw in call names. That's what the dollar sign indicates, that we are going to use the name of the column to refer to it. And report ID is the name of the column we wanted to look at. So R is nice in the sense that you can just run the name of an object and it shows you that object. Like if we run line items, it'll show us the whole data set. But if we run this code here, this refers to the specific object of the column report ID. So I'm going to run it and show you. Okay, there we go. There are our report IDs, and they are a bunch of integers. And you'll notice there's over 76 of them. See that? That's how I knew that. OK, before we finish, I want to show you one more thing. Remember how report ID was the second column in the data frame? There's actually another way to refer to that column using numbers. See this? I got the data frame. But then I have these really hard brackets, a pair of them. The first one is smashed right up against the line item data frame. But what's in between the brackets is what's interesting. R's brain sees two imaginary positions, the one before the comma and the one after the comma. The first position tells R what you want to specify about rows in the data frame. And what's after the comma says what you want to specify about the columns in the data frame. Remember how a report ID is column two? And we don't want to filter out any particular row. We want all the rows. That's why we have nothing before the comma for the rows and a two after the comma because report ID is the second column. OK, so theoretically, we should be able to run this and get the same exact output as before in the console. And I'm going to do it. Identical. Beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Just gorgeous. A really nice result. Thank you for watching this data science makeover with LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi. Remember to check out Monica's data science courses on LinkedIn Learning. Click on the link in the description.